Hey there, how's it going? Tim Warner here welcoming you to a brief introduction and overview of Microsoft Certification Exam AZ-900, Microsoft Azure Fundamentals. What do you need to know about AZ-900? Well, again, the title speaks volumes, Microsoft Azure Fundamentals. So this is meant to be an entry-level exam aimed at Azure newcomers, and I dare say perhaps even those who are new to the information technology industry as a whole. Know that exam AZ-900 is a standalone certification badge. That means that there are no other Microsoft certifications that are dependent upon your passing 900 as a prerequisite. Look elsewhere in my YouTube channel because I've put up at least a couple videos that cover the new role-based certifications, in particular the Azure portfolio. So we've got this as the only fundamentals level exam, and then there are a number of role-based associate level and expert level credentials. But again, 900 is fully standalone. And as I said, this exam is aimed at newcomers to Microsoft Azure, so you can reasonably expect when you sit for this exam that you're not going to be asked detailed architecture questions. You won't see C-sharp code. You won't be brought into the Azure portal and asked to configure anything. It's really about understanding Azure from a high level. I submit to you also that by studying for and passing AZ-900, this will serve as a great confidence booster, especially if you're new to Microsoft certification or if it's been a long time since you've taken a Microsoft exam. I was really jazzed when I passed this exam yesterday. I've already passed the architect and the administrator tests, but nonetheless, passing 900 made me feel so good I'm ready to start studying for the developer badge. What else should you know about exam AZ-900? Well, it's priced at a lower point than the associate or expert level tests. Here in the U.S., it's $99 per attempt as of, we're in late March 2019 as of this recording. Now, that's in comparison to $165 USD per attempt for the associate or expert badges, so there's quite a difference. The length of the exam is also different. AZ-900, you can expect to see approximately 40 items with a 60-minute time limit. The Associate and Expert Level Azure Role-Based Certification Badges, the maximum time for those is approximately two and a half hours. So 900 is intended to be a more lightweight exam right out of the gate, and you won't have performance-based items where you're actually in the Azure portal doing work, Watch, Microsoft Learning will add them now that I create this video. <laughs> That's something to keep in mind, actually, that everything in the Microsoft world nowadays is subject to change. If you're familiar at all with Azure as of now, you know that that's the case with Azure. And it's also the case with Microsoft Learning. They update or revisit their exam outlines every two months. So you'll see, I would say, 85% traditional multiple choice items and around 15% some lighter interactive items, drag and drops, this sort of thing. You can look in my YouTube channel because I have a video in which I explain the different Microsoft certification item types. Now let's pop out into a browser and let me share with you some more specific exam details. If you search for exam AZ-900, you'll come to the Microsoft Learning website and you'll come to this page in particular. This is going to be localized based on where you are in the world and your currency. Notice that you can schedule the exam directly from this page. If we scroll down under who should take this exam, this again is letting us know that we're concerned with foundational knowledge of Azure Cloud Services. So you're going to be asked to identify relevant Azure services. You don't have to know how to architect or develop them or administer them. You have to know what they are and what their basic use case is. As Microsoft says here, the exams intended for candidates with non-technical backgrounds, such as those involved in selling or purchasing. So think pre-sales associate, think of what's called the TAM, a technical account manager. You don't necessarily have to be a full-time IT professional to be a really good fit for passing this exam. I can see AZ-900 being a good fit for folks who are IT professionals and who want to refocus their career to align with the Azure Public Cloud, as well as those who are brand new to the IT industry in general and who see the proverbial writing on the wall and want to focus in on the public cloud. What I think is the most important part of any Microsoft exam blueprint page is skills measured. As I said, Microsoft Learning tweaks these outlines regularly, 
So you'll want to, as you prepare, come back and look at this list from time to time. And any updates will show up right around here where I'm highlighting the paragraph before the actual content. Speaking of which, notice that the content for this exam is divided into cloud concepts, core Azure services, security, privacy, compliance, and trust, and pricing and support. I found when I took the exam, I was really pleased with the accuracy of the exam in terms of if I were to sit down and write down a list of stuff that Joe or Jane users should know, who's have to be familiar with Azure at a high level to do their work, what are the core things that they should know? Well, you should know a bit about how Azure subscriptions work. You should be able to identify the major Azure products and services. You should know about high availability, some of the pricing and total cost of ownership calculator tools that are available. And it just goes through the list here. It's really nice evaluation of your ground level Azure knowledge. Please use this as your source of authority for what to study and make sure that you're familiar with every single line item on this because Microsoft's not joking. They structure the exam 100% to this skills measured list. I want to spend a moment here going over a new item type that is not covered in my YouTube channel and my other video on Microsoft exam items. This one's good because Microsoft is able to test your knowledge on what otherwise you might classify as vocabulary, but in a way that requires you to do some higher order thinking. The way the items are structured is you'll see a declarative statement like this. This is just an example I made off the top of my head, by the way. When you stop a virtual machine in Azure via a remote desktop protocol or RDP session, Azure stops billing for the VM. And notice that a key part of the sentence is set off or highlighted. You need to determine whether that statement as is is true or false. And if it's true, then you would select choice A, no change needed. If, however, you feel that the statement's false, you'll correct it by choosing the appropriate option. Some of the Azure Fundamentals content, you might think, oh, this is Mickey Mouse, knowing the difference between infrastructure as a service and platform as a service, understanding the use case for Azure Virtual Machines versus Azure App Service, but not so fast. You're not going to be asked to recognize vocab words. You'll be asked to perform some analysis on top of that identification. Incidentally, this is a false statement. When you stop a VM in Azure from within RDP, choice B continues billing for the VM is the correct answer. Preparation Resource Roundup. Full disclosure, I teach full-time for Pluralsight, but if you do learn well through computer-based training, check us out, Pluralsight.com. We have lots and lots of Azure Fundamentals level content. Microsoft Learn is at Microsoft.com forward slash learn. This is an online learning management system, really, where you can get some hands-on Azure knowledge for free. They have an Azure Fundamentals learning path that maps to the exam, so that's a great reference right there. And lastly, in terms of a legitimate practice exam instrument, because you never want to neglect test-taking skills, I would suggest you go for Microsoft's official practice test provider, MeasureUp.com. I checked their website earlier today and verified that they do, in fact, sell an AZ-900 practice exam. I want to thank you so much for your time. Again, my name is Tim Warner. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, curiosities, please, let's connect. At Twitter, I'm at TechTrainerTim. My web address is TechTrainerTim.com. All the best to you. Happy Azuring. Take care.